practice help for a lesson assignment from this past Tuesday. And for, they're going to be practicing the mystery song number three, page 15, which is Who's That? On the back of their lesson assignment is a picture of a hummingbird. And I want to show you how I'd like you to use that to practice Who's That? On the paper, it says to hum the right hand melody while you play only the left hand. That works great for the first line of Who's That? So notice how I do it. You'll notice I have added the middle note in the one chord. Do, mi, so, one chord. Most of them should be able to do that. If not, they can leave the middle note out. On the 5 7 chord, though, I have only been playing the fa and the so, the two note chord. For most of them, it's still quite a stretch to reach that T, but if they want to try it, then they would play. Now, for the second line of Who's That on your page 15, I would go ahead and have them hum the melody and play the harmony, which are the chords. To do that, they're actually humming the left hand and playing the right hand part, the treble clef part. So the second line you would practice like this. That's good practice, and just for fun, they can color that hummingbird page, and they can mark off a flower every time they do that. This will help them get used to playing those chords with the song. If they have trouble doing it while humming, they could do it instead while singing the words. That would work just as well. After they've practiced that way, and they feel are feeling pretty good about it, you can have them switch and practice playing the melody. So the first line, they would play with the right hand. Who's that tapping at the window? Who's that knocking at the door? Then they would switch to their left hand. Who's that tapping at the window? Who's that knocking at the door? When they feel pretty comfortable with doing it both ways, then they should try putting the hands together. Sometimes it would be better just to start with the first and second measure. When they feel good with that, they can go on. I'm not going to demonstrate all of it, but I'm going to just demonstrate the first two measures. I'm going to start. Who's that tapping at the window? When they can do that fairly comfortably, then they should move on. The other thing I wanted to mention to you for practicing this week is on their separate piece of staff paper, they were to choose four purple cards, four purple cards, minor melody cards, to draw on their staff paper. In order to do this properly, they need to decide whether they want to do the left-hand cards, notice the bass clef, or if they want to do the right-hand cards, notice the treble clef. They could split their cards into two piles and then decide which pile they want to use. If they want to use the bass clef pile, then they would choose four cards. One, two, three, three, four. And they would draw those cards on their staff line paper. Have a great week. Thanks.